Go villager, it's your birthday, get busy, get with it. video you know what it is you know what time it is it's time to give the video a thumbs up bruh that's right like it right now all right october's coming to an end bro october has been lit for the switch i said it on twitter shooters racing sports adventure the switch is killing it i can't underscore how much the switch is killing it right now in gaming overwatch links awakening asphalt 9 um so many games bro nba 2k the games keep coming but that's not why you clicked on this video. You clicked on this video because you know a Nintendo Direct is coming according to the title of this video. Because one is according to what Nintendo has done in the past and according to what Nintendo has actually said, more than likely we're going to get a Nintendo Direct in November. When in November? How about November 1st? How about? In about a week and a half. That's what they did last year. Now, based on what they did last year and what Nintendo themselves have said. Bro, this is a tweet from Nintendo of America. Okay, the legendary wolf himself from the Fatal Fury series, Terry Bogard, will be joining the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Roster DLC Fighter 4. Look forward to his release when... This November, in November, we are going to get none other than Terry Bogard in Smash. Ken with a hat? I don't know anything about. I never had a Neo Geo growing up. I had a Super Nintendo, Sega Gen Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. That's all I had, bro. I mean, that's not all I had as a kid. I <laughs> we, had, we had systems, bro. But we didn't get a... Um, I had a Sega CD, we had the 32X, we had, I had the Game Gear, hey, Paris hooked me up uh, as a kid with uh, gaming, but, he's confirmed to come in November, and Sakurai has always, before the release of a new character, typically recently, they've been, they've done a Nintendo Direct specifically focusing on that fighter so just like they did last year i forget what the fighter was was it joker whoever they did it on i think it was joker last year expect a super smash brothers nintendo direct focused on terry bogard am i hyped for him not really do i want to see his move sets could he be a possible main of course I need all the help I can get in Smash because I'm garbage. Garbage. I beat you though. <laughs> don't even think you can beat me, bro. <laughs> you don't want none of my Ganon. But um, we might begin, not might, uh, I'd say about a 95% chance we're probably going to get a Nintendo Direct focus on Super Smash Brothers. But wait, that's not the only possible Nintendo Direct we could be getting. Now, this is. According to Gamerant, they've even said that this source isn't real reliable. But this source is claiming that there's going to be a Nintendo Direct in November teasing new information on Animal Crossing New Horizons. Part of me is saying, ah, just because of what they're saying about the source. But part of me is saying, bro, the game's coming out early 2020. 
So Nintendo might not just have a direct focused on Smash, rather have a full blown Nintendo Direct, which would be lit. Oh, the hype hat would be back on. So, and this is what they're saying about the information for Animal Crossing New Horizons. They're saying that the game will be the Super Smash Brothers ultimate of the franchises when it comes to villagers, meaning every villager will be available in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So in the same way Smash just put everybody in, they're saying that they're going to do the same thing possibly for Animal Crossing New Horizons. This is going to be my laid back chill game with the homies. If you want to become a member of the OGC Dope Nintendo Switch Gaming Community, we game every tonight. I'm going to be on Overwatch with the sponsors. We're going to be playing some Overwatch on the Switch, but it's going to be lit. Um, checking out each other's villages and fishing and just chilling in Animal Crossing. Um, links in the description. But um, according to this leaker, we're going to get more information on Animal Crossing New Horizon. But we'll have to see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Next news item. Mario Kart Tour is getting an update. What specifically, you ask? New characters. The two that are going to be a highlight. From, we're getting Luigi, Waluigi, and King Boo coming October 22nd to Mario Kart Tour. That is tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow, I need to play this game more. Can we play online with friends yet? I don't even know. I've never been a big mobile gamer, but Mario Kart Tour, I'm not a big fan of the five dollar a month price either. Come on, boy. Even though I could do that, I don't know. I might get on my Mario Kart Tour once they have online with friends. I'll start racing with the sponsors. Somebody in the comment section, let me know if they have online friends. But, new update, new characters. Luigi, right in time for what game? What game, you ask? How about this one, bro? Game's going to be fire. We're going to talk about it in a second. But, speaking of Luigi, Tetris 99. Tetris 99 has also received an update. Luigi... Uh, man with the Luigi Mansion 3 theme for the background. So Nintendo starting to advertise Luigi's Mansion 3 in the other games. This game is dope. Love Tetris on the NES, bro. Love Tetris on my Game Boy, bro. I tell you one thing. When this game launched, a big misstep in my opinion. No online multiplayer with friends. You could only play against random. If you could create friend lobbies in this game online... This would be lit. Can you do it yet? Did they up? I know they've been having several updates with the game. I haven't been catch um, keeping up with the updates specifically to this game. So again, in the comment section, can you play online with friends? I might tweet it out on Twitter. Follow me at Obi One Plays on Twitter. Can you play online with friends in um, Tetris 99 yet? Somebody let me know, bro. The people want to know. Next news item, bro. Right now, this is my favorite racing game. Asphalt 9 on the Switch has just passed over 1 million downloads within its first week. And so not only me, I'm not the only one that's noticing how dope this game is running and looking on the Switch. But millions and millions of people have also taken note. The game is lit. I have a club, OGC. Oh, I'm I'm plugging my sponsorship a lot in this video, bro. But I'm just I'm just being real. I have an OGC club and we race together as a club. You can get club points. It's lit, man. Um, you gotta gotta download Asphalt 9. Good to see that the game is doing good on the Switch. Cause it's free. Absolutely free. But after a while you're like, man. <laughs> because and you can just race and enjoy it. Grind out, get your cars. But man, you look in that shop, you see that fast car. Two dollars, let me get it. <laughs> I spent two dollars on the game so far. But the game is dope, dope, dope. Having a blast playing Asphalt 9. Over one million units. Well deserved. Alright, and to close out this video, Luigi's Mansion 3 launches in 10 days. I already have it preloaded on my Switch. Can't wait. 
between Luigi's Mansion 3 and Link's Awakening. This fall has been lit on the Switch. We still have Pokemon around the corner. Just really, really, really liking my Switch right now, bro. It's the go-to system right now. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, bro.